Hello everyone, and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix specific drivers having crashing issue it is not launching or won't launch, freezing, stuttering, lagging, low FPS drop, stuck overloading screen and even many more issues which is happening for many of the users and how we can fix this app. So let's dive into the workaround. The first one is all about we have to do a simple restart. For this we just need to go over here in the start, click on this particular icon, go to the power icon, go for the restart. Once the restart is done, just try it, launch the game and that will be working fine. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to launch the game from the installation folder. So uh, instead of launching the game from Steam, which might be causing the issue for crashing, we have to launch it from the installation folder. So we have actually two steps. One, we have to use a shortcut from the Steam. Just go over here in the game, right click, go to the properties, go for install it file and just click on the browse. That will take you to the installation folder. If you go back, you can see this is the folder. This PC, local disk C, program file x86, Steam, Steam amps, common, specific drive. So now just from here, we have to launch the game. Or you can navigate to the installation folder using the file explorer. So just go over here, go to this PC, go to local disk C, go to the program file x86, go for Steam, navigate to Steam apps, go to common. Now from here, we have to navigate to the game, specific drive over here. Now open this and we have to launch the game. And this is what we have to do. So this is the second step. Now, hence we're in the installation folder. I'll be showing you a few more steps which can be done. Them is, that is all about, we have to run the game as an administrator and we have to run the game in the compatibility mode. So just go over here in the game, right click, go to the show more option, go to the properties, go for the compatibility, click on run this program in the compatibility mode, set this to Windows 7 first one and you can go for apply. If Windows 7 is not working, set this to Windows 8, go for apply. So in my knowledge, Windows 7 will be working in the most cases. Next one, we have to go for run this program as an administrator. Go for apply and go for OK. Both has to be done separately. And once done, just close everything and we have to go back and check. Next one is all about what we need to do. So we just need to make sure that we have to launch the game and you have to press Alt and Tab from the keyboard. So just press Alt and Tab from the keyboard and that will be working fine. So it is it is working in most cases. So just press uh, click on the hit button and press Alt and Tab which will be working in most cases. If not, we have to make sure the date, time and region is correct. So just go over here. Navigate to the settings, go for the time and language, go for the date and time, make sure this all these three things. That means time zone should be turned on, time is automatically should be turned on and all these three, three things should be turned on. Just go back, go to the language and region, make sure over here the region has to be selected. For example, if you're from United States, you have to select United States. If you are from uh, any other country, you have to select it. So you have to select the country according to geography. Once afterwards, just close everything and we have to go back and try launching the game. Next one is all about nothing but we have to do is we just need to delete the saved game file. So just go over here, go to the file explorer, navigate to this PC, go over here in the documents and if you find the folder over here for the game specific drive, just delete it and you will be losing all the progressions of the game but that is fine. Even though uh, when you launch the game, it helped you guys a lot. So just uh, delete it and you have to keep in mind it worked for many users, you have to do the same. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to move to the next one. That is all about we have to allow the game to Windows security. So just go over here, navigate to the control panel, go for uh, system and security, go for Windows Defender Firewall, go for allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Keep scrolling down and navigate to Pacific over here. Just keep scrolling down and navigate to Pacific over here, Pacific Drive. Now from here we have to click on the private and public. Both has to be marked. So this has to be marked, which is very important. So if it is not here, we can add it by default. Just click on the change setting, go for allow another app, go for browse, navigate to this PC, go to local disk C, go to program file x86, go for Steam, navigate to Steam apps, go to common. Now from here, we have to navigate to the game that a specific drive should be selected over here, you can see. Now we have to select the application and go for open and add it. So I'm getting the error because the game is already added. So that is why I'm getting the error. Just make sure both the private and public both has to be marked. And once it has been done, just close everything and we have to go back and try launching the game. Next one is all about nothing but we need to unplug all the USB devices. 
So you might be connected with a lot of peripherals, for example, external devices, for example, joysticks might be connected, any other might be connected, which even cause the issue up. So just unplug everything. And once everything is unplugged, just launch the game and that will be working fine. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to perform a clean boot. Just go over here. Now we just need to go to the system configuration. Navigate to the services. Go for disable all. Just click on hide all Microsoft services. Go for disable all. Go for apply and go for OK. So just go over here, disable all, hide all Microsoft services, go for apply and go for OK. They're going to ask you for restart. So uh, because I'm in the middle of shooting, so I'm going to go for exit without restart. But the users who are watching this go for exit without restart. Now you just need to try for restart as well. Now launch the game. Next step is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to uh, disable the Steam overlay. So just go over here in the game, right click and go to the properties. Make sure if it is turned it on, we have to turn this off, try launch the game. If that is not the case, just go over here in the launch option, which is a very important step. The first one is DX11. Give the command DX11. If DX11 is not working, try with DX12 and that will be working fine. So either the DX11 will be working or the DX12 will be working. So either any one of things will be working because in the past it worked for many users. So we can try this out. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to close all the overlay application. So just go over, over here in the game, right click, just click on the start icon, right click and go to the task manager. Now from here, we have to select this one. So as you can see, there are a lot of things running in the background and all these things are actually utilizing the performance and that is why we are having the crashing issue one by one. So just remove the unwanted things from here. And once afterwards, just try launch the game and that will be working fine. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we need to try for the next step. That is all about, we have to run the game on dedicated graphics card. So just go over here in the game, search for graphics settings. Now click on this one. Now, as you can see that I have already added the game, many games and we have to add in the same way. Just click on the browse. Now we have to navigate to this PC, go to local C, go to program file x86, go for steam, navigate to steam apps, go to common. Now from here, we have to navigate to the folder of the game Pacific Drive. Now select this one and go for add and once it's added just click on the option so now just go over here to the high performance this will be like by default this will be let windows decide change this to high performance and go for save once afterwards just close this and we have to go back and try launch the game next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to increase the virtual memory so just go over here in the search view advanced system setting just go over here in this one now we have to navigate to the advanced, go for settings once again, advanced once again and go for change. Now what we need to do is we just need to make sure this is blank and you have to select the local disk C. Go for the custom size and set the value initial size that is 1.5 times the total RAM and we have to set the value for the maximum size that is 3 times the total RAM. We need to do a calculation, so we need a calculator. So the first one type your RAM that is 32GB is your RAM. Multiply it with 1024 and we have to multiply it with 1.5 that brings you 14 and 152 and we have to copy this and we have to paste it. Next one the maximum size that is 32 GB multiplied with 1024 and we have to multiply it with 3 that is 98 304 and we have to copy this and we have to paste it. Once every value has been set you just need to close everything and we have to go back and try launch the game. Next one is all about we need to update the windows. So just go over here and cross check whether the windows is up to date. Go to settings, go for windows update and make sure the windows is up to date. Once the windows is up to date, just close everything and we have to go back and we have to try launch the game. Next one is all about what we need to do. We just need to update the graphics card. So I'll be providing a link in the description that will take you to this. Now go over here, go to the NVIDIA for the first time. Now just select everything like product type should be selected, product series should be selected, product should be selected, operating system should be selected, everything should be selected. Go for GeoForce and once you select everything like RTX should be selected, NVIDIA should be selected, operating system should be selected and go for start search. Now from here we'll be getting a latest released versions of NVIDIA which is released on February 2022, one day back which is around 551.61 MB. So just download this one, install, restart is a mandatory and try launch the game. Next one, we have to go over here in the AMD. Just go over here and select everything should be selected and go for submit. If you're on Windows 11, download this one. And if you're on Windows 10, try downloading this one, install, restart is a mandatory and try launch the game. You can also try 
with installing the Microsoft Visual C++. So just go over here. If the system is based on x64, download this one. If the system is based on x86, download this one. Install, restart is a mandatory and try launch the game. And last and the least step which can be done. The first one we have to uninstall the game. So just go over here, go to the manage and uninstall the game. For reinstalling it back, we should not be installing it back on the same local disk. We have to try a new local disk. Next one is all about what we need to do. We just need to verify integrity of game file. So just go over here and go to the properties. Go to the install it file and just click on the verify integrity of game file. So this will cross check every single files of a game. And if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing and all these kind of issues will be fixed by this. So once afterwards, I'll be showing you what you have to do and we can wind this up. So once as you can see it is successfully done just close everything over here and try launch the game and that will be working fine and these possible workarounds can be done i hope this video is helpful see you soon in the next video peace out bye 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 bye